the world was weary. World War II had raged for six long years, millions lay dead, cities were in ruins. By mid-1945 the tide had turned. Germany had surrendered in May, but Japan fought on, refusing to accept defeat. The United States facing a costly invasion of Japan sought a different path. They had developed a new weapon of unimaginable power, the atomic bomb. The decision to use it was a gamble, a desperate attempt to end the war quickly and save lives, or so they thought. President Truman authorized the use of the bomb against Japan. The targets, Hiroshima and Nagasaki, both cities of strategic importance. The world held its breath, unaware of the horror that was about to unfold. The first atomic bomb was a uranium gun-type device codenamed Little Boy. The second was a more powerful plutonium implosion-type bomb called Batman. These names, seemingly innocuous, belied the devastation they would unleash. August 6, 1945, dawned bright and clear over Hiroshima. It was a Monday, the start of a new week. At 8.15 a.m., an American B-29 bomber, the Enola Gay, appeared in the sky. It carried a single bomb, little boy. The bomb fell, detonating above the city with the force of 15,000 tons of TNT. The world changed in an instant. A blinding flash of light seared the sky. A deafening roar followed, the sound of a city dying. Buildings crumbled into dust. People vaporized, their shadows etched onto walls. The air grew thick with heat, smoke, and the smell of burning flesh. A monstrous cloud, the now infamous mushroom cloud, rose into the sky, a grim testament to the destructive power unleashed. Three days later, on August 9th, the world watched in horror, still reeling from the devastation in Hiroshima. But the war was not yet over. The United States, determined to force Japan's surrender, prepared to drop a second bomb. This time, the target was Nagasaki, a port city on the southern island of Kyushu. At 11.02 a.m., Fat Man detonated over the city. The blast, though less powerful than the one at Hiroshima, was no less devastating. Nagasaki, too, was reduced to rubble. Thousands perished instantly. Countless others suffered from radiation sickness, a slow and agonizing death. The world looked on, aghast, as the true horror of the atomic bomb became clear. Section 4. The Long Shadow of the Bomb The bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki had immediate and catastrophic consequences. The two cities lay in ruins. An estimated 200,000 people died from the blasts, burns, and radiation sickness. The bombings also had a profound psychological impact on survivors, who carried the physical and emotional scars of that day. On August 15, 1945, just days after the bombing of Nagasaki, Japan surrendered, officially ending World War II. The world breathed a collective sigh of relief, but the celebration was short-lived the world had entered the atomic age. The devastation wrought by the bombs raised profound moral and ethical questions that continue to haunt us today. Section 5. A World Forever Changed The atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki marked a turning point in human history. They ushered in the atomic age, an era defined by the constant threat of nuclear annihilation. The bombings also led to the creation of the United Nations, a body dedicated to preventing future wars and promoting international cooperation. The legacy of Hiroshima and Nagasaki is a stark reminder of the human cost of war and the urgent need for peace and disarmament. The mushroom cloud, a symbol of destruction, serves as a constant warning. We must learn from the past and strive for a future free from the threat of nuclear war. The fate of humanity depends on it.